I know Seattle struggled a little lately, but how satisfying is it that you guys have continued to do this against teams that are above 500? You know what? We're just trying to, who, whoever's in front of us, it's not easy for us. Um, you know, we've obviously faced our share of adversity, and these guys have answered the bell every day. So whoever we're playing, the bottom line is if we play well, we have a chance of winning the game. And if we don't, then anyone has a chance to beat us. So um, just just happy to see guys continue to step up, continue to contribute to us winning ball games. So whoever it is. One of those guys tonight was Tyro Estrada. How good do you feel for him knowing what he went through last year and then also doing it against a fellow, fellow Venezuelan and Felix Hernandez getting yeah. his first career home run? Um, you know, he's been one of those guys. You know, you can point to a lot of guys that have come up and had a hand in us winning games. And, and you know, when I think of Tyro, um, uh, look, I love the player. I think he's going to be a good player in this league for a long time. Um, you know, I think of him and Anaheim, us bringing him out to left field in pregame, wanting to kind of baptize him by fire out there in left field. And we throw him out there in, in San Francisco, a tough pace to play. He handles it. Everything you throw at him, he's not overwhelmed by it. Um, and he's just he's just stepped up for us in, in a limited role and, and, and played a big part for us. I know it was a lefty, but was it tough to leave CC in to face Bruce at that point with the way that inning was going? Um, more honestly, a little bit the, the, right before that. Um, felt like once once we let him go through Santana there, um, you know, I felt like Bruce, we liked the matchup enough. He, and I felt like he was still throwing the ball okay. The only thing, obviously, was his pitch count was getting up, and especially in that inning. So that was a concern and a debate uh, that we were kind of having. Um, but once he got through um, and it was Bruce, I just felt like he was throwing the ball well enough and, and we could we could win the matchup, and, and he got it done. Anthony. Was trying to get him through five to qualify for the win any part of your decision? Not really. Um, you know, more just at that point, you know, it was getting a little tough, obviously. It looked like we were going to roll early there. And, you know, you're in your mind, <clears throat> you know, you go in and you're hoping to stay away from a couple guys if you can. And I just felt like, you know, I liked the matchup enough, and I felt like he was still throwing the ball well enough to take advantage of it, and, and he, he made a pitch. Justin? What you, uh, would you think about the defense from the entire left side tonight? Yeah, it was great. I mean, Tyro makes a big play on that ball coming in. You know, Gio, you know, it continues to just, you like seeing it hit over there to him. Uh, he's he's a, obviously just a really good defender, so... Um, you know, that w that played a big part in, in us uh, being able to get through that game. Harp. Were, were you going to get uh, Adovino in that, that part of the lineup no matter what? Or did, it, or did it just play that way with the way the, the inning unfolded? Yeah, not no matter what. Um, you know, it, it, if there were going to be runners on and, you know, and then the game leverage changed a little bit, um, then we were going to get him into that game. But if, if John was able to have a clean inning there, we might have tried to stay away from him. But we felt like uh, for those righties, you know, in a lot of ways, that might have been the game there. And so so we, we went ahead and fired. Anyone else? Thank you, Ryan.